My 55M wife 50F admitted to abusing our estranged daughter 29F after denying it for over 20 years and I have no idea what to do. This is going to be a long one and I apologize. Please bear with me. I, admittedly, have not been the greatest father. I drowned myself in work throughout my children's childhoods and was not always present, though I did try to be as much as I could. My wife and I have been married for over 30 years and we have two children a 30-year-old son and a 29-year-old daughter. We were high school sweethearts and have an incredible marriage she is the love of my life. She has been a stay-at-home mom wife for most of our marriage. Our son lives at home with us, while our daughter on the other hand is estranged from us and has lived out of our home since she became an adult. My daughter and my wife have always but heads like animals. It was extremely difficult being between them and trying to mend things. They just could not get along. My daughter has accused my wife of physical, emotional, and verbal abuse pretty much as long as we can remember. We had even attended family therapy when my daughter was in middle school, but the therapist determined that my daughter may be making things up for attention. This was also always furthered by the fact that our son has absolutely no issues with his mother it is just our daughter. My wife is a strict woman, and I've had to have talks with her about reeling it in quite a few times because she could be quite harsh on the kids, but I have never seen or heard her abuse my daughter, just the typical fights between parents and children chores, bad grades, smoking pot, dumb stuff that every kid does. My daughter claimed that my wife was physically abusive, slapping her around, throwing things, and was extremely verbally abusive, calling her fat, ugly, stupid, worthless all things that my wife denied and definitely things I believe my wife would never say or do I defended my wife to no end, but also tried my hardest to smooth things over with my daughter. She left home as soon as she was able, citing her mother as the reason and myself as being an enabler, and pretty much never looked back. She never returned home for longer than a day visit. She officially cut us off over a year ago after a fight with her mother over the phone that I did not witness, and we have not heard from her since. My wife told me that it was over a disagreement regarding a babysitting arrangement for my daughter's child, our only grandchild. Attempts to reconcile have not been responded to. She has even refused to meet when family members have passed away and did not attend their funerals. She also has since married, which means I missed my only daughter's wedding, not to mention also losing my relationship with my only grandchild. It has been a huge blow. I began therapy shortly after my daughter severed contact with us because I desperately needed to understand what was happening. My therapist has been great and has walked me through accepting this situation and grieving the loss of my relationship with my daughter she helped me accept that I may not have done my best with my daughter, but that I cannot change what has happened, and all I can do is wait for my daughter to open up to me again. I decided to begin bringing my wife with me. My wife was extremely against therapy at the start, but decided to come along at my insistence, first together, and then on her own. I have since been going much less, but I check in every now and then. My wife recently asked me to come to a session to support her, where she and our therapist dropped a bomb on me during their solo therapy sessions, they have been discussing and working on my wife accepting that she abused my daughter, after my wife apparently broke down and confided that everything my daughter said was true, and how to move through this and also potentially mending our relationship with my daughter. One of the first steps of this was for my wife to admit to me that everything my daughter said about her and their fights was true. My wife also admitted that the fight that ended our relationship with our daughter was because my wife had been calling our granddaughter fat and stupid during the already very rare visits my daughter allowed with granddaughter, who then told my daughter, and my daughter called my wife and informed her that our relationship was over. I am horrified and have no idea how to proceed. I ended up walking out of the session because it made me physically ill. For 20 years I defended my wife and believed her when she called my daughter a liar, screaming and yelling at my daughter for lying when my daughter was pleading for me to believe her. This is 100 my fault and I drove her away, and now I don't even know her phone number, her address, how to reach her. I haven't heard my daughter's voice in over a year and the last time she spoke to me she told me she never wanted to see me again, because I enabled this woman who tormented her for her entire life, and even then, I defended my wife. I hate myself more than anything in the world right now. My only daughter. I think my marriage is over. I'm staying with my brother currently and my wife has been calling me non-stop. Her voicemails range from begging to talk, to screaming about how I am not supporting her. My therapist also called and left a message suggesting we try to have another session to move forward, but also encouraged me to take my time. I know I am also at fault. I should have listened and believed my daughter. But I didn't and can't change that. And I just want to know where to go from here. Please, I need advice. I feel physically sick. This is so much to bear. Anything helps. Update apologies. I deleted my last post because it gained way more traction than I anticipated and I was worried my son would find it and cause some problems before any final decisions were made. 
I don't care about that anymore though, because I have decided to divorce my wife. I read all of your comments and took them to heart, even the very harsh ones. I appreciated every single one. I did want to clarify a few things. I was only uncertain about divorcing my wife because I simply did not even know where to begin. I was reeling from the therapy session and was very confused and honestly, a little afraid. I had to face that I don't actually know the woman I was married to for 30 years and I don't know what she's capable of. I have my faults, yes, 100, but I loved and trusted my wife. I knew I needed to leave. But I simply didn't know how. So many other things were running through my head as well money, assets, explaining this to our families. After 30 years of marriage, it was a lot to sort out by myself and I needed some guidance to make sure I did it right. I've decided that I don't care what it takes and I don't intend on lying to save images from our families. I did ask my son about the abuse allegations I would ask him what he saw or heard and he has always stood by his mother. My son has no relationship with his sister. As I mentioned in a previous comment, they never got along. The fact that this was because he was the golden child was something that I only recently became aware of and something that I have been addressing in therapy. He stood by his mother and would back her up during fights. When my daughter and wife would be fighting, he could come to me and tell me that his sister was lying, that he was there and saw what happened and that his mother did not hit or berate his sister. He would say that his sister was throwing a fit or being a bitch over my wife making a normal request don't be out late, do your homework first, etc. Ashamedly, I believed the two of them because of a fucked up majority rules type of thing. I had two people I loved and trusted both telling me the same story. I am not proud of that, but that was the way I saw it. As adults, my daughter has refused to speak to my son and would not come to the house if he was home. My son does not care and has not tried to mend his relationship with her. The blow up of this is reaching gargantuan levels. My wife got to my son first because I was not in the home, and he is refusing my calls. I left him a voicemail asking him to keep his mind open and that I'm here to talk whenever he is ready. My wife on the other hand, has not stopped calling and her voicemails and texts range from losing her shit to begging to talk. I will be meeting with a new therapist and continuing therapy. When my divorce is finalized, and if my therapist thinks it's a good idea and that I'm ready, I will try to find a way to reach out to my daughter. I do not wish to stalk her or hire a private investigator, which has been suggested here. That seems very invasive to me and I feel as it would only frighten my daughter and drive her away further. I don't know how else I can do it. But I'll figure that out, since it likely won't be for a very long time. Thank you for all your advice. I'm happy to answer any questions or provide more info now that my mind is more clear.